If you want to continue to uh, join me in my f pursuit and my, uh, what the hell am I going to say? Well, good morning from Mount Rainier National Park. Um, I am here at Chinook Pass and it is now seven o'clock and it is just now uh, sunrise. And I came here not to shoot the Grand Vista, but rather to uh, find some intimate compositions um, emphasizing the fall color. When I left my house this morning, I was a little bummed because it was clear sky, I could see the stars. Uh, but as I came up um, into Mount Rainier National Park, um, on Highway 410, um, I entered a cloud layer. And as you can see behind me, um, uh, the cloud layer is still here. I assume that soon after sunrise, uh, this will burn off and be clear. So I'm gonna quickly take advantage of the conditions and capture some fall color. So we've got some excellent conditions right now. Um, these huckleberry bushes in the foreground are covered by a heavy layer of dew. And uh, that's due to the temperature. It's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit or two degrees Celsius. So I'm framing my composition here, emphasizing the, uh, the foreground, which is these uh, huckleberry bushes. So I have the composition set. Um, I've had to use a, a two-stop soft edge ND grad to expose correctly for the background, which is pretty bright. Um, and there's a lot of contrast between the background and I wanna emphasize and expose correctly for these uh, huckleberry bushes in the foreground. So I've got the ND grad in place, happy with the composition. Um, for the depth of field, I'm at F14. It gives me a two second exposure using a two second timer to avoid any shake. I'll go ahead and take this. So I found a similar composition to uh, what I just shot, but with a little different framing. Uh, but the composition is the same. It's emphasizing the, uh, the dew on the huckleberry bushes in the foreground, um, a variety of fall colors, and the diffused fog and pine trees in the background. Now there's quite a bit of uh, dew and quite a bit of fog, and so I'm having to deal with some moisture in the lens. So uh, I think it's okay on this camera, but just in case. I am loving this atmosphere. Um, I found a third composition, also emphasizing the fall color, uh, but it's much simpler than the, the first two that I took further back. Uh, this composition is actually just emphasizing a meadow that's behind me here. I'm just off the trail, uh, but this one has, a, has more variety of color and it has more variety of plants. Uh, so for this composition, um, I've tweaked it a little bit um, I originally started with uh, a pine tree on the right, but that uh, I, have a, I have a small uh, pine tree in the immediate foreground, and that gave me a, a composition that was too heavy on the right side, and it was, didn't look balanced. So I've, I've moved a little bit to the left to help in balancing the composition. Um, I have the uh, 
pine tree, the small pine tree on the right third in the immediate foreground. I have the uh, focused a third of the way through. I'm at F14 and eight tenths of a second. And again, we still have the diffused forest and the pine trees in the background. I'm just loving this atmosphere. Uh, so I thought that the, uh, the fog would burn off soon after sunrise, but it is hanging around. And so I'm taking full advantage of it. I'm just loving this atmosphere. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I, I thought that the, uh, the fog would lift after sunrise. And actually it started to, uh, but now another fog layer has come in. It's now 7.57 and sunrise was at 7.05. So we're almost an hour past sunrise and we still have a nice moody layer of fog. Uh, what I wanted to work on next was actually uh, using uh, some more diffused light, which I had about five minutes ago, um, which would allow me to emphasize more the colors, the fall colors in the in the foreground. Uh, but since another cloud bank has moved in, uh, that may make that a little more difficult. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, search around this area for a composition, and I'm going to hope that um, I get some more diffused light, and that'll put more color in the foreground and give me a little different option. Uh, from what I've shot already. So we'll see. So I've switched to the 24 to 70 uh, f2.8 uh, because for this composition I needed a, uh, a little more reach than I had with my 16 to 35 that I was using earlier. Um, I found the dead tree here and it's adding some interest. Um, I've toyed with both a vertical and a horizontal composition uh, but I'm a little pressed for time because uh, the light is rapidly changing can see some uh, from the sky um, there are some blue patches in the clouds and so whatever atmosphere we have currently is going to be extremely short-lived um, the forecast for today is a, uh, a clear clear skies and so I'm sure this fog is uh, in its last throws so to speak um, so I am at uh, f14 1 8 of a second ISO 100 using the 24 to 70 and at about 50 mil uh, and again, toying with both a horizontal and a vertical composition, I'll decide when I get back home which one I like better. Uh, the, the issue in this composition is going to be balance, and so uh, I need to use uh, the thirds for, for balance in the scene. So I'll go ahead and uh, take this shot and finish up my work here uh, with this composition and, and see what else I can find. This will be my last composition for today. Um, I've made it up to a small lake, or if you're in the uh, Europe or the UK, you may call this a tarn. Um, but the light is quickly uh, changing and the sun is quickly coming out. Um, I've had some interesting uh, uh, light play on the, the ridge in the background, and I'm kind of waiting on that to happen again. It's uh, still, the fog is still coming and going, but uh, the sun was out just a minute ago. And so I'm hoping that the, the sun's still low on the horizon, it'll catch this ridge um, beyond the lake and I'll get some nice uh, reflection of the wet grass and the wet trees. Uh, let's see if that happens. But uh, interestingly, I've been here for, um, it's now 8.30, sunrise was at 7. I got here about 6.30. So I, I've, I've been around now two hours in the, the National Park. It's been a outstanding morning. Um, I'm really just loving this atmosphere and uh, uh, the fall color. 
But even better, I've been in the national park now for two hours and I haven't seen a soul. Uh, so when you talk about connection to nature, uh, this is really it. Um, a beautiful, cool, crisp fall morning, Sunday morning in the national park, in nature, in the mountains, completely by myself. So I'm going to end it here uh, with this composition. I'll call this uh, Foggy Reflections. I'm still at F14. 1 60th of a second, ISO 100, 24 mil. And what a great morning. Well, that about does it uh, for a crisp, cool, and very interesting first weekend of fall in Mount Rainier National Park. Um, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and, and then head out. Uh, this morning's conditions were absolutely amazing. Uh, with the atmosphere and the fog, it really added a lot of character and context to uh, the compositions. I hope they, uh, I hope they turn out well, and I hope they, they convey the the mood uh, that I experience when taking them. Well, that about does it. Uh, thanks for coming along this morning. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to join me in my pursuits as a photographer, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.